Sam Maskell here from This, That, and the Other and Roll 420s. Just want to let everyone know that I have a new podcast out called Sam of All Trades, where I interview very interesting people and I ask them some pretty interesting questions and we get to know what they do and how they do it. Check it out from the binge on this channel where you can find our new D&D game, Roll 420s, This, That, and the Other, our podcast with me and Brian, What's Hood with Forever Cobron, where you get the Latin flavor, Reading Ronan with Brian, Happy News with Perry Kurtz, and our new new podcast sam of all trades with me so come check it out give us a like and a subscribe when i was little my father was famous he was the greatest samurai in the empire my father would go home to mother and they were happy then one night they were supposed to kill my father but they didn't Edward D. Hooch. The children were always good during the month of August, especially when it began to get near the 23rd. It was on this day that the great silver spaceship carrying Professor Hugo's interplanetary zoo settled down for its annual six-hour visit to the Chicago area. Before daybreak, the crowds would form, long lines of children and adults both, each one clutching his or her dollar and waiting with the wonderment to see what race of strange creatures the professor had brought this year. In the past, they had sometimes been treated to the three-legged creatures from Venus, or tall, thin men from Mars, or even snake-like horrors from somewhere more distant. This year, as the great round ship settled slowly to the Earth in the huge Tri-City parking area, just outside of Chicago, they watched with awe as the sides slowly slid up to reveal the familiar barred cages. In them were some wild breed of nightmare, small horse-like animals that moved with quick jerking motions and constantly chattered in a high-pitched tongue. The citizens of Earth clustered around as Professor Hugo's crew quickly collected the waiting dollars, and soon the good professor himself made an appearance, wearing his many-colored rainbow cap and top hat. People of Earth, he called into his microphone. The crowd noise died down and he continued. People of Earth, this year you see a real treat for your single dollar. The little known horse spider people of Khan brought to you across a million miles of space at great expense. Gather round to see them, study them, listen to them, Tell your friends about them. But hurry, my ship can remain here only six hours. And the crowd slowly filled by, at once horrified and fascinated by these strange creatures that looked like horses, but ran at the walls of their cages like spiders. Well, that's certainly worth a dollar, one man remarked, hurrying away. I'm going home to tell the wife. All day long it went like that until 10,000 people had filed by the barred cages set into the side of the spaceship. Then as the six-hour limit ran out, Professor Hugo once more took a microphone into his hand and said, We must go now, but we will return next year on this date. And if you enjoyed our zoo this year, phone your friends in other cities about it. We will land in New York tomorrow, and next week on to London, Paris, Rome, Hong Kong, and Tokyo. Then on to other worlds. He waved farewell to them, and as the ship rose from the ground, the Earth people agreed that this had been the very best zoo yet. Some two months and three planets later, the silver ship of Professor Hugo settled at last onto the familiar jagged rocks of Khan, and the queer horse spider creatures filed quickly out of their cages. Professor Hugo was there to say a few parting words, and then they scurried away in a hundred different directions, seeking their homes among the rocks. In one, the shriek creature was very happy to see the return of her maiden offspring. She babbled a greeting in the strange tongue and hurrying to embrace them. It was a long time you were gone. 
Was it good? And the heat creature nodded. The little one enjoyed it especially. We visited eight worlds and saw many things. The little one ran up the walls of the cave. On the place called Earth, it was the best. The creatures there wear garments over their skins and they walk on two legs. But isn't it dangerous? Asked the sheet creature. No, her maid answered. There are bars there to protect us from them. We remain right in the ship. Next time you must come with us. It is well worth the 19 comcocks it cost. And the little one nodded. It was the very best zoo ever. And that was Zoo by Edward D. Hooch. Nice, short, simple, to the point. I uh, enjoyed it immensely, and I hope you guys enjoyed it also. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, feel free to email us at bingeonthischannel at gmail.com. Or you can find us on Instagram at bingeonthischannel. Or you can also find me on Instagram at the real underscore Hawaiian Brian. That's where you'll be able to find me and my own content. But if you guys have any stories or anything that you'd like us to read, that's where you're going to be able to get a hold of us. And if you would be interested in maybe reading some of these stories for your own benefit or if you'd like to contribute, please let us know. We're always looking for more Ronin. And with that being said, remember that we live by the sword, but we die by the book. See you next time, Warriors. <laughs>